Hey, we are Story Fandom. And by we, I mean me. By myself, all alone in my cold ass basement. Like, seriously, I'm wearing my old man fleece and my dinosaur unicorn pajama pants to stay warm. It's cold down here. But my wife and kids are upstairs, um, where we usually record, doing, you know, school stuff. So here I am, on my day off, freezing my butt off to watch this. <laughs> um, if you have not watched my reaction to the original pilot, there's a car right above right now. I also have a description in the link below. Check it out, come back, watch this. Uh, if you're wondering where our reaction to Hasbin Hotel is, well, if you already watched the pilot, I did have an expl explanation there, but if you want to watch it here first. Basically, it got corrupted, and we, could, we tried, but we couldn't save anything of it. Uh, which would probably be to our favor, because we didn't like it when we first watched it. We're not big Cartoon Network kind of people. And I know, I get it, hold on, don't, don't, angry comment, well, maybe angry comment. It's supposed to be good for the YouTube algorithm or something. But, I have since changed my mind, and we know it's not Cartoon Network, I know this. But when we first watched it, that's what it looked like. That's what it made us think of. Adventure Time, which we aren't really fans of. Star and the Force of Evil, Gravity Falls, those kind of shows that my son, when he was really young, used to watch sometimes. But as adults, we never liked. Um, so me and my wife watched Has, uh, Has Been Hotel. We got bored. It was not a great reaction. Um, I personally was really tired. I had worked all day. And then I came back and watched it. So... I was still going to publish it though, so I immediately wanted to go check other reactors to see if they had chopped up the episode or not, so I knew how to edit it. And discovered upon rewatching it with other reactors, I actually found it kind of funny. When, you know, I was more awake and actually not feeling overwhelmed by all this new information. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So uh, I decided to keep going with the Vizzy V Pop stuff. I think I said that right. And, you know, just me, my wife, Brandy, has decided that she doesn't want to, and that's her choice. Not everybody likes everything. So, I'm here for this new reaction. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I've got my headphones already pulled out because they are loud as shit when they come out of here. And I'm also going to go ahead and pop open the uh, window right here. Pop open the window. There we go. I'm trying to be careful. I've got my microphone balanced right here. It's very precarious in the basement. Alright. Hell of a boss. Here we go. I was a good person before it all went down. I was good my entire life. Okay. I don't know who this is. Is it the uh, chick? I hope you That's married to the dude? Work. We love to do our homework, and we love our teacher too. Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Okay. Two plus six is eight. And good behavior is eight. And it's now that part of the class when we say the time of day and date. It's nine in the morning on January 8th. The sun is out of spring. And it's your husband's birthday. La, 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 la. That sounded like Vader Zim, which is the dude that the chick I'm thinking of was married to. What the heck is... Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. I didn't get him anything special. Maybe if we call him, we could do a happy birthday surprise. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right, right there. You, we're not going to use things. Right there. Ah! Oh, yeah. That's right actually right my there. asshole. But I don't care. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Wow. <laughs> Sweet. Me, Barry. Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. Ooh. I think she lost her temper. Okay. Oh shit, sweetie, what are you doing here? Shut up, Gerald! You scream like a bitch! Oh god, what have you done? She had a family! We could have had a family! Oh dear god, what have I done? In front of you all? I'm so sorry, my children! Don't forget to work on your time stable. <laughs> you do everything. Right. Wow, that's dark. All the rules. That's like really dark. Down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world. After one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. 
to get oh. revenge. Nope, I mean, it's not that. Check. I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melody. <laughs> just spat at me, tits. <laughs> anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Between the talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're I thought hero. she got chainsawed. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero. You're a hero. Ew. You're a hero. Oh, 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 you're a hero! She is not uh. a hero! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie, stop shaking! You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Wow, I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath and let it out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad. Or a mob family. That's understandable. <laughs> but to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online. And this guy... This guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet. <laughs> our newest client. Moxie, I just bought those eels! <laughs> Bye, and don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours or your first kill is free! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean, our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's <laughs> why you're my favorite, Looney. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop. Uh, oh. You're so gross. Aw, oh, stop it. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. That's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But... Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Let's just think about it. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. But whatever it is, they're gonna be tomorrow night's dinner. Kids, guns out! Looks like we got some rabbits to catch, youngins. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Moxie? Wow, they're terrible. I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. <laughs> I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent, Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's kids. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick. <laughs> oh, a new hole! Scatter! <laughs> Y'all can't hide long from me.
We got some like RE seven bullshit going on now. Well hello little ones. Aren't you cute? It's nice to have a new critter to play with. Mm-mm. Why do I watch the show again? Oh, this guy. This is the one who made me laugh because he blended the phone. Conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling. Shit. Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now, but I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound enticing? You gotta stop using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate. I'm not getting fucked in my A. Then let me keep it simple. Once a month on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever! Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c inside of my Gotcha! So you're a little devil, huh? Come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan! Gonna send y'all back where he came from! No, don't do an ad. I'm sorry about that. That was an ad. I couldn't avoid it. Let's continue. I work, bitch. <laughs> Could fire even hurt them? Yeah, that's not exactly how it works, ladies. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I, mean, <laughs> I can fake it if that'll get your dick hard. Oh, shit. Well, I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Blitz! <laughs> Damn! You're not getting your goddamn paycheck for this one, Mox. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. I'm sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. But if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. Alrighty, job well done. Now let's get off. Uh, yeah, give me a moment. I need to get something I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. I think he's gonna kill the entire family, isn't he? <laughs> wow. Don't move. What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm handling this my way. 
Oh, shit. Uh, do you, uh, you have a phone to summon 911? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then, what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Ah. There he is. Have a good wank-off session, Moxie. Excuse me? Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time, all right? See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. We got it, boys! <laughs> oh, did you see my little Mox Mox? Oh, yeah. Oh, Moxie! Well, here's to another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. That was fucked up. I mean, that was... That was fucked up. That was fucked up. Like, I, I guess I'm not entirely the right audience for this kind of show, which is weird. Because I like... You know, the concept of... The show, I guess. Because I, I, I'm a writer who does modern fantasy. So, I'm working on a book that involves angels and demons and... The end of the world and... I guess it's a difference between writing it and then just having to... It's gruesome. Ah! Hmm! Hmm! Um, but there's always one joke that for some reason just cracks me up. In the first, in the pilot, it was the Tim blending his phone after talking to the owl dude, who I don't know entirely who that is. You'd think I would, um, but I don't for some reason. I should figure that out. I should research that. Can't write a book about this without knowing all that stuff. Um, and that cracked me up when he, when he dropped in the blender. And this one here was the, the cops is blowing the house up. Because of course they would. It's the cops. I'm sorry. In modern, well, actually, no, that's not true. They were white. That got weirdly political. I'm sorry. Ignore that. But yeah, funny, the cops just kind of blew the whole house up. So, you know. Yeah, I got, I've got nothing else. I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> if you like our content, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we have a Twitter, we have a Facebook. And we will see you guys next time. And by we, I mean me. Because it's just me. <laughs>